Hello guys, welcome back to HTML Camp. In this video, we'll be creating an audio player using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you want to know how this was made, make sure you watch till the end. Also, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. Now, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, with all the necessary structures created, I'll link my stylesheet to the HTML document. Now, I'll create two JS script called playlist and script.js. I'll also link them down below in my body tag. In your browser, search for Google icons. Select rounded and copy the CDN. Paste the CDN in the head tag of the document. In the body tag, create a def with the class of content. In it, create another def with the class of top bar. Now, I'll search for the expand icon. Copy the code and paste it in the dev tag. Create a span tag and type in the text now playing. Back in Google icons, search for the more icon and paste the code in the dev tag. Now, preview the website with the live server extension. Create a dev with the class of image wrapper. In it, create another dev tag with the class of music image. Create an image tag and set the source to images slash img1.jpg. Below the image wrapper dev, create another dev with the class of image titles. In it, create a p tag with the class of name. Create another p tag with the class of artist. Down here, create a dev with the class of progress details. In it, create a dev with the class of progress bar and create a span tag in it. Create another dev with the class of time. Create one span tag with the class of current in it. Create another span tag with the class of final. Below the progress details dev, create another dev with the class of control btn. Back in Google icons, search for the repeat icon. Copy and paste the code in the dev tag. Now, I'll go ahead create the appropriate icons. In between the previous and next icons, create a dev with the class of play pause. In it, I'll create the play icon. Now, I'll give each icon an appropriate ID. Below the content dev, create an audio tag and set the source to music slash music 1.mp3. Also, give it a class of main song. 
In the style sheet, reference the body tag and set display to flex, align items to center and justify content to center. Set the width to 100% and set min height to 100 VH. This will center the content in the website. Also, set the background color to hashtag E3DF7. For the content tag, I'll give it the new morphism box shadow. I'll set the width to 350 pixels and the border radius to 15 pixels. Set the padding to 25 pixels by 30 pixels. Now, let's style the icon with a cursor of pointer. Reference the top bar tag and set display to flex, align items to center and justify content to space between. Also, set the font size to 18 pixels. Style the icons in the top bar tag with a font size of 24 pixels. Reference the music image tag and set the width to 230 pixels and the height to 230 pixels. Also, add the new morphism box shadow. Set border radius to 50% and margin top to 25 pixels. Type music image IMG and set the width to 100% and set the height to 100%. Set object fit to cover and border radius to 50%. Set the image source to images slash img1.jpg. Give it a padding of 7 pixels. To center the image, reference the image wrapper tag and set display to flex and justify content to center. Reference the Music Titles tag and set Text Align to Center. Give it a top and bottom margin of 30 pixels and set the color to hashtag 4D4D4D. Type MusicTitles.name and set the font size to 19 pixels. Now, type music titles.artist and set font size to 17 pixels and margin top to 3 pixels. Set the opacity to 0.9. Reference the progress details tag and set the width to 100% and height to 6 pixels. Set the border radius to 15 pixels and the background color to hashtag CCC. Reference the progress bar tag and set the width to 50% and the height to inherit. Set the border radius to inherit and the background color to hashtag 0987F6. Set the cursor to pointer and the position to relative. Reference the span tag in the progress bar tag and set the position to absolute. Set the width to 12 pixels and height to 12 pixels.
Set the background color to hashtag 0987F6. Set border radius to inherit and transform translate Y to minus 25%. Preview the changes made. Set right to minus 5 pixels. Set the opacity to 0 and the transition to 0.3 SEs out. When the hover pseudo class, set the opacity to 1. Preview the changes. Reference the time tag and set the display to flex. Align items to center and justify content to space between. Set margin top to 2 pixels and the color to hashtag 4D4D4D. Reference the control buttons and set margin top to 50 pixels and margin bottom to 20 pixels. Set display to flex, align items to center and justify content to space between. For the span tag in the control BTN tag, set the width to 45 pixels, height to 45 pixels and border radius to 50%. Also, add the Numorphism box shadow. To center the icons, set display to flex, align items to center and justify content to space between. Also, set the color to hashtag 4D4D4D. With the active pseudo class, I'll inset the new morphism box shadow. Preview the changes made. In the playlist script, create an array called songs. For the first item, create a name slot for the song title. Create an artist slot for the artist name. Create an image slot for the music image. Finally, create an audio slot for the song. Duplicate the hole three more times and make the necessary changes. Now, in script.js, let's create the variables we need. Create a constant called content and set it to document.querySelector and set the class name to content. Create another one called playImage. Set it to content.querySelector and set the class name to musicImageIMG. Create another called music name. 
Set it to content.query selector and set the class name to music titles.name. Finally create one called music artist. Set it to content.query selector and set the class name to music titles.artist. Now, let's let index equals 1. Create an event listener to check when the page is loaded. Below it, create a function called loadData and set the parameter to index value. In the load event listener, call the load data function and set the argument to index. In the load data function, set music name.inner HTML equal to the song's array with the index of index value minus 1. Also, set it to the name slot. Repeat similarly for the music artist constant. Below that, set play image src to the image in the song's array with the index of index value minus 1. Also, add the JPEG extension. Now, when the index is changed, it'll changes appropriately. Create another constant called audio and set it to document. Dot query selector and set the class name to main song. Set audio.src to the music in the song array with the index of index value minus 1. Also, add the mp3 extension. In the load event listener, type audio.play. Now, when the index is changed, the song and title changes appropriately. Create a constant called playBTN and set it to content.query selector and set the class name to play pause. Create another one and set it to content.query selector and set the class name to play pause span. Add a click event listener to the play BTN. In it, create a constant as music paused and set it to content.classlist.contains and set the class name to paused. Create an if statement and check whether is music paused is true. If it is the call then function pause song. If it isn't then call the function play song. Now, let's define the functions we just created. Create the play song function and in it, add the post class list to the content tag. We'll also change the play icon to the paused icon. And also, play the audio. Create the other paused song function and remove the paused class list from the content tag. Change the icon back to play and pause the audio.
create a constant called previous btn. Set it to content.query selector and set the ID to previous. Create another constant and set it to content.query selector and set the ID to next. Add a click event listener to the next btn. In it, call the function next song. I'll do similar for the previous btn. Create the next song function and in it, increment index by 1. Create an if statement to check whether index is greater than songs.length. If it is, then set index to 1, else index should remain the same. Call the load data function again and set the argument to index. Also, call the play song function. Preview the changes. Create the previous song function and in it, decrement index by 1. Create an if statement to check whether index is lesser or equal to 0. If it is, set index to songs.length. If it isn't, then index should remain the same. Call the load data function again and set the argument to index. Call the play song function also. Preview the changes made. Add a time update event listener to the audio. In it, console.log e. Open the developer tools and move to console. Down in the event, look for current time and duration. Now, create a constant called initial time and set it to e.target.current time. This will get the current music time. Create another constant called final time. Set it to e.target.duration. This will get the full duration of the audio. Now, create a variable called bar width and set it to initial time divided by final time times 100 to get it in percentages. Create a constant called progress bar and set it to content.query selector and set the class name to progress bar. Create another one called progress details. Set it to content.query selector and set the class name to progress details. In the time update event listener, set progress bar dot style dot width to the bar width. Preview the changes made. Add a click event listener to the progress details. Now, let progress value equals progress details dot client width. This will get the width of the progress bar. Let clicked offset x equals e dot offset x. This will get the offset x value. Let music duration equals audio dot duration.
Now, set audio.current time to clicked offset X, divided by progress value times music duration. Preview the changes. Add a loaded data event listener to the audio. In it, let final time data equals content dot query selector and set the class name to final. Now, let audio duration equals audio dot duration. Set final time data dot inner text to audio duration. Preview the changes made. Now, let final minutes equals math.floor audio duration divided by 60. Also, let final seconds equal math.floor audio duration mod 60. Now, set final time data to final minutes and final seconds. Create an if statement to check whether final seconds is lesser than 10. If it is, then add 0 to final seconds. Now, below the event listener, let current time data equals content dot query selector and set the class name to current. Let current time equals audio dot duration. Let current minutes equals math dot floor current time divided by 60. Let current seconds equal math dot floor current time mod 60. Set current time data dot inner text equals current minutes and current seconds. Create an if statement to check whether current seconds is lesser than 10. If it is, then add 0 to current seconds. Preview the changes made. Create another constant called repeat btn and set it to content.query selector and set the id to repeat.
Add a click event listener to the repeat BTN and in it, set audio.current time to zero. Preview the changes made. That pays us enough, I'm about to... Create another constant called shuffle and set it to content.querySelector and set the ID to shuffle. Add a click event listener to the shuffle and in it, let rand index equals math.floor into bracket math.randomTimesSongs.length plus 1. This will select a random number between 1 and the length of the songs array. Call the load data function and set the argument to rand index. Also, call the play song function. Preview the changes made. thing to do is to play the next song when the previous one has ended. Add an ended event listener to the audio and in it, increment index by 1. Create an if statement to check whether index is greater than songs.length. If it is, set index to 1. Call the load data function again and set the argument to index. Also, call the play song function. Preview the changes made. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, remember to subscribe, leave a like and share the video. I appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next video.